Well, I've, I've been thinking about the things that I'm thankful for. And I think for, for me, just like for many of you, my mind tends to drift to what things looked like last year. They, they, my mind just tends to drift to, to what last year's Thanksgiving looked like or, or what previous years have looked like, and it's difficult not to begin to compare. This world just seems so foreign right now, right? I mean, a year ago, if somebody told us that this is what our world would be like, I don't know that too many of us would have even believed them. But we're in the midst of, of where we are, right? We are where we are. And so as, as I think about that, I think about us kind of feeling like we're in this foreign world, we're in this completely different land than we were a year ago. I, I'm reminded of this passage, and it's a really well-known passage. It's from Jeremiah. And Jeremiah uh, the 29.11 is maybe one of the most famous passages in, in all the scripture that people love to quote. Um, and, and so it's basically God saying like, hey, I, I have a plan for Israel and I have a good plan for Israel. And, and you're going to actually flourish. You're going to prosper. But what people don't realize is that Israel is actually in exile in that time. That Israel is actually not in their homeland. In fact, God is is actually bringing this message to tell them, hey, um, you're not going back there right now. But you are where you are, and you're called to flourish where you are in this moment. And so as I think about that, I think about the people of Israel literally living in a foreign land, but God telling them, hey, I have this great plan, but flourish where you are right now. I think that's, that's a message that really I needed to hear as I read those those verses yesterday. It's this idea that we need to be thankful for where we are and not compare to where we were. Because if we compare to flourishing last year, it looks completely different than what flourishing looks like this year. And just like for Israel, if they were to compare what it looked like to flourish when they had their own country, their own land, to what it looked like being foreigners in a foreign land and flourishing, it's going to look completely different. Does that mean that we can't be thankful for where we are? I, I think it's difficult for us to be thankful because we are in this process of comparing to what things looked like just one year ago. But if we stop comparing to where we were and start looking at where we are, I think we'll find ways and things that we should be thankful for. And so that's why I came out here to the beach because Believe it or not, the beach is really close to our church. But I, I've come out here at sunrise in particular because I'm always impressed with what it is that God has for us. I'm always impressed with the beauty of the sunrise. And I'm left being thankful for a God that promises to have new mercies for us every day. A God that promises that, that there is something new for us every day. And so as I think about the things that I am thankful for, I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for the opportunity for us to get together. And no matter how small your family is or how, how big it is, we're thankful for that today. But even if, if you are kind of even lost with that, if, if that doesn't resonate with you, we do have today. God has given us a new day. And only God can help us to recognize that every new day is a new day and an opportunity to experience God's mercies, to experience the things that we should be thankful for, to, to allow us to see that where we are is not where we're always going to be, but we're called to flourish where we are right now. So my hope for you as it is for me is to not compare to what last year looked like, but my hope is that we will begin to be thankful for the things that we do have rather than grieving the things that we've lost. That we'd be thankful for what it is that God has given us rather than the things that we wish God had given us. This is a brand new day. As the sun comes up over those clouds, recognize that. Be thankful for this new day and this new opportunity to experience God's mercies, but to be thankful for what it is that God has given.